Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to the Creative Cows Photoshop Podcast. We're going to explore techniques that work great for both video professionals and photographers. Today, we're going to tackle a problem that a lot of folks have to deal with, and that's shadows and highlights. If we take a look at this image here, you'll notice that it really just lacks contrast. That's because the image itself isn't using the full dynamic range. Now, we can, of course, add contrast, but what I want to do is use a different technique, and that is shadows and highlights. You'll find it under the Image Adjustments menu. Now, normally, it's going to look like this, just two simple sliders. One slider to lift up the shadows, and you see here it shifted those over, and another slider to recover detail in the highlights area. If you're intimidated by Photoshop, these two sliders work pretty well. But if you want, you can click Show More Options for even more control. Now what we'll do is we can define what's a shadow. So I can say treat the darkest 30% or so as a shadow. And now go after and lift that up more. And you see it starts to recover the details there in the shadow. Additionally, with the highlight slider here, I can recover details in the sky. But again, the tone slider lets me limit that to a better target. Now, using the adjustments for color, we can really fill that in. And when I click OK, the image looks a lot better. But there's more we can do here. One of my favorite third-party filters is available here from Skylum, and it's called Luminar Flex. What it does is makes it easy to enhance the color and the contrast in the image. I'll use this ImageAware workspace, and this gives me a bunch of intelligent filters. So now with Accent AI, with a single slider, it starts to bring out the details and the color. And with the AI Sky Enhancer, it recognizes the sky and targets it and really recovers more details in that sky. That looks so much better. We'll put just a little bit of structure in there and that's going to bring out some of the detail. And you see that the hair and the texture of the giraffe just comes through and a little bit of contrast. We can start to put that into the midtones or the highlights separately. And this image has a bit of noise, so I'll just click and type in the word noise, and we can choose denoise. And we'll pull down some of that luminosity and color noise, and you see that the background goes nice and clean, removing some of that graininess that was there before. If we look at the before and after, a definite improvement, and with one click of the apply button, we now have a photo that's ready to share or use. My name's Rich Harrington. Thanks for checking out this week's episode. We'll have more videos on creativecow.net, all about using Photoshop, both for photography and for video purposes. And a big thanks to our partner, Luminar Flex, which is a super cool plugin for Adobe Photoshop. I invite you to check it out. Thanks for watching.